Captain. Pray, follow me. I'd wager there's all to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? It is a remarkable treasure we've found. Perhaps fortune has deigned to aid us at the... I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. Today, Arisen? Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. I knew it to be so. Pray, slow your feet! You run to At times, I find myself wondering why we must fight against our fellows. That's just what I was thinking. What do you want? This seems a decent spot for a campsite. Better to rest while we're here than lament our weariness later. Wait to find out what's inside. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait right there. Looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it?
How are we to get through this door? Boy, keep your distance. Our adventure continues. Come, we've much to be getting on with. A new day. A new perspective. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. One never can have too many of these. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. As a matter of fact, I do believe our party would stand to benefit from the addition of a sorcerer. Their destructive capabilities are a sight to behold. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that film go to waste. Over so soon? Why, oh, we seem to have come through unscathed. Must until I grant you roaring flame. that we might always be so in step, eh? Very well. I shall return.
We shall have to crane on next to spot our foes in a place like this. Keep your eyes peeled.
At once, master. Look there. Methinks I spy aught of use. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Most impressive. Such a thing escaped my master's notice entirely. This gloom has an eerie cast. Methinks there are rare materials to be found hereabouts. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find?
I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. It pains me to say it, but I've nothing to share just now. Where to next, Arisen? I'm not tired in the least. I'm ready. You are in good health, I trust. of equipment-enhancing materials to me, Master. I shall sniff them out and mark them on... You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my speciality. Take me as your shield, Arisen. Upon my fight of pride, if ever you've need of an ear to listen. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. Tis said there is. Fellow Matari, none fear. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. You have my admiration. I doubt even my own master has obtained an article so rare. A Kael filled a room fire in Iterond at Kale Elb in Lala Star. Halan Ostol in Tan, non when they hit off. Valis Harenon, Halan of the Nefernis. Arid fell so. Alan Oxford in town, on when they hit off. Came in Ross, a casar, Aaron Phil. I'll harvest what more fire men else are. 
and Fatelpi Helen. Elelote and Osto Silfa Malantha Alecano Mine in Fair Averhum. We must rest. What I look forward to most in my journeys is swapping... Good morrow, everyone. Off we go then. Ready to forge on? More in Osto. Ronde Minita. Nun ve oyonda ata. Isil ror faun arandor. Kemen ros akasar. Arin fel.
We seem to have a ride without issue. But are we safe here? Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in... All Vernworth. Much obliged. Here we are. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad. Have you found any of the items we just got?
always a pleasure. Uh-huh. There's something written here. Let's have a look, then. We meet again. Truth be told, I was hoping we might. Would you care to stay and talk a moment? I'm glad. Sit down, won't you? I'm rather fond of this place. I never imagined a city could be like this. So full of excitement, so alive. And how could I have? In all my life, I've hardly left the palace. My mother is quite strict. You understand. Oft did I long for a taste of normal life. Even aught as simple as going shopping for myself. My mother has always procured the things I covered for me, so to pick out an item and obtain it with my own hands held a certain appeal. Which reminds me, I owe you a debt. I fear I cannot repay the full sum all at once. I have rather little in the way of spending money. Pray, take this for now. You'll have more when next we meet. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. And I shall remain by your side. Ah. Now here's a surprise. The thrill of discovery never gets old. Interesting. I shall have... Aye. Got some coin to spare your humble storyteller? Much appreciated. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over? What did you think of that story? It was well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. Haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Right. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? We ought to put it to good use. Delved into a temple of baleful feature, only to be confronted by a four-legged creature. But when our hero drew his blade, unto him a demand was made. And who the asker? Why, the beast! An uncanny affair, to say the least. Yet there was no time for shock and dismay. Tell is, Vermund was once a bistron kingdom. Oh, 
dear. What am I to do? Now it is a welcome sight. My head hurts just thinking about it. Nattering all day is tiring work. I don't know what to do. What to do? I have no mother or father to speak of, you see. I wanted to get them a present to say thank you. And I thought a bunch of flowers would... Oh, the problem is, do you think you could help me? For true. I'm sure you'll find... Hoy Arisen! Have you brought me a bunch of flowers or... Oh, <laughs> these should say... Would you mind terribly if I asked you another favor? See, one of my friends taught me a magic spell. It's supposed to let you meet whomever... All you have to do is find a silver stone. Put it under your pillow. But there's... Would you find a silver stone? For true. I'll be waiting. Our next mission... Oh, I can't find a sil... Well, they're hard to find, aren't they? Arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Anything to be lovely. Here. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. This place offers a view of the sea. I see no reason. Rejoice, my darling, for your Albert is returned. Welcome home, dear. I spend my days spinning yarns, only to come home to a wife for whose radiance I have no words. If there is a more fortunate fool in the city, I have yet to meet him. Oh, you bold-faced flatterer. What would you of me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Well met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Keep those orders coming. This fearsome world of ours is best met with stiff drinks. Well, I never... Listen up, you lot. Albert, king of beggars, has come to quench your thirsts. Aye, the ale's on me tonight, so drink up, my friends. Drink your fill. Whatever it is, I'll have to hear it another time. The upper deck. Now, that's not so strange, and rightly so, as it turned out to be a young boy. The risk gave me a right shock, let me tell you. Odd to think a young noble should so closely mirror a girl of the slump their faces may match, but the lives they lead are as different as night and day. Will this take long? Got something for me? Boy, keep your distance. Ladies and gentlemen, is it true you're the Arisen? Only, I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the Arisen over in the tavern about six months ago. Just be sure you play your part well, whatever the truth. 
the Uri a fellow Drake or two, and I reckon. Got a hankering. What would you of me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Oi there, so ne'er mind your coin purse. Drink. Well, man. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Many thanks. At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. I'm frightfully busy. Just be sure you mind your manners. Is there aught I can assist you with? This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in di Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Well met, sir Arisen. Many thanks. May ah, hold on a moment, sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? Let us begin by gathering information. That's just what I was thinking. Got any tales to... Don't think your son found its way inside the common quarter just the other night. You could say it was an ill twist of fortune. But mayhap we ought to be better prepared for such incidents. I wonder if building a nice high wall is out of the question. Good day, sir. Would you mind coming over here? The heavens have Pray, follow me. I know the way, so there's no chance of our getting lost. You don't need a permit to get into, but just hide in the back of an ox cart. I it work. Mind. You've got to avoid, but it's easy enough. I. has been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. My 
I spend my days in quiet. You don't look. Malcolm. All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. Was I lacking in devotion? I wonder what he was. Your pockets look full. Got all to spare? There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Oh, I can't find a silver. They're hard to find, huh? You feeling generous, sir? Can't say I have any time. While we're here, shall we take care of that other task we were entrusted with as well? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Quit staring. I don't appreciate it. Is there aught I can assist you with? Is we were supposed to go exploring together. I wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Our results are awaited. What say we make our report? Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mentioned rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way... Th Come, I fear there's not a moment. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I believe this is the place to which the children were... Look, there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boats. You too? I'm glad I'm not the only one.
Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick, you'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly. Perhaps we ought to take a look. We ought to follow close behind. I knew it to be so. How are we to get through this door? Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. My magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Over here! Heavens above! Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. It is quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. It is a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It near boggles the mind that so impressive an archive slumbered here. This place is a... Shall we seek out the young man from the other day? Follow me, Master. I shall guide you to the location. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Over here, if you please. The person we're here to meet is nowhere to be seen. Shall we come back later? Seems we're a bit stuck. Might we have overlooked aught of import? This ladder can take us to new heights. Hi. Faring well, I hope. Would you care to join me? I'd not say no to a bit of company. I was hoping you'd say that. Do you know, I had a feeling we'd meet here today. 
Intuition, I suppose. Say, you're not from round here, are you? Are you a traveler? Have you seen many places? How I envy you. This city is all I know. I long to learn more of the outside world, but Mother won't allow it. She's always telling me how dangerous it is beyond the palace walls. But that only makes me question her judgment all the more. After all, if the world truly is so perilous, what of the lives of our people? They must be fraught with uncertainty, subject to harsh conditions. It seems unfair that I alone should be shielded from that reality. But listen to me waffling on. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Here, I brought more of the money I owe you. I should have the remainder ready by our next meeting. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I, I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. I'm afraid I... Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality you know where to find. At last we've arrived. Delivery in hand. I only hope the recipient is pleased with our work. I quite agree. Oh, dear. What am I, to do? Oh, I can't find a silver stone anywhere. Oh, just look how it shines. Thank you ever so much. Say, aren't you curious who I want to meet? Well, I'll tell you. My mother and father. I don't even know what they look like, you know. Not to say I'm unhappy at the gracious hand, of course. But I'd really like to meet them. Even just once. I want to tell them how grateful I am that they gave me life. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, hi, Arisen. You'll help me again if I need it, won't you? Please say yes. Miss Daphne seemed pleased with our efforts. Mayhap we ought to pay her another visit sometime soon. That's just what I was thinking. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as often as I am able. Home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. Take this. Pray, keep your voice low. Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? I suppose you must be a visitor. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients, not to mention... I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. 
You would procure it yourself? I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, forgive me. If that's not the case... Yeah? What is it? The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. You run so fast! I can hardly keep you in my sights, Arisen! Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated. to the foremost hospitality in. all Vernworth. You know where to find. Welcome. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Ah, oh, excellent find. Can't help but talk in a whisper with here. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my rounds directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now even their poor son Lubomir has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him. But he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there, willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. A at any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah, something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Hmm. I shall gladly aid you if it is within my power. Perhaps you have a moment to spare, and eat. 
I fear I've much to it. Each of our patients deserves. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abbess's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including Martellis. She gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeared for them. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear a night. A nun say the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. I knew it to be so. Master, if you're carrying around anything you don't need, there's no time like the present to rid yourself of it. If you feel overburdened, mayhap I could carry some things for you. Found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon.
The charge ahead may be to rush headlong into danger. Let us take care to move as one. Pray speak up, should you notice all to miss. What are you looking for a... I do hope not before. Z a moment's prayer can do a world of good. I fear I've much to attend to. Got any good stories to share? This is a place of prayer. Do keep your voice low. Not much going on hereabouts. You best watch yourself. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Or oh, so I've learned. How might we enter the basement sick room? Not a bad idea. You looking for a fight? A moment's prayer can do a world of good. I have noticed. I have noticed that the abbess goes out every night with. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us about.
there's any easy work to be had. All this for me. This place I can but trust my feet. Someone help me. Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? Oh. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. Useful ingredient. Well met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Keep those orders coming. This. Oh, well met, sir. Elena. Ah, yes. The abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once I saw her, the abbess, Meeting with a strange man, she handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? Twas in the square, in the eastern part of the common quarter. And always a night, as I recall. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I near end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. I be seeing you. This is not the first we've heard of Lord Phasus. What could his aim be, I wonder? How very peculiar. Ich 
As I recall, the abbess met with that strange man a night. In the square that lies in the eastern part of the common quarter, the two shared a few whispered words, and I... Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint-like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. It is an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Supposed is only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. Anything. I have noticed that the You're back. What? You found a medicine used only in the basement sick room. I I don't like the sound of that. Do you think could I trouble you to look into this? as well. Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the rest town. Pray, sir, do what you can. I must know. You're back. Pray, these look like records of treatment. Johan and Bruno. I know these two. They left here not long ago. I recall them being especially meek to the abbess. At any rate, they may know aught of use. about it. What to do? Hoy, arisen! Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That's a problem for the church. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold. <laughs> I'll help too. Now we seek gold ore. Though it is sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. That's just what I was thinking. Mayhap I ought to ask around town. Well, well, well. Good evening, sir. I trust you fit. It all right on the road. It's despite the hour. You know where to find. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you, Arisen. Oi, 
Hi there, friend. Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road. But now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the car. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Splendid now. The carts only depart at certain, and mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. Each cart travels with so anyone think it cut enough of my. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time. Come find me when you've delivered. We need only deliver it to the intended recipient. I've just recalled the little tidbit I heard from the local. Hey, I've an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ill. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week with no one slated to mind the house in my step. Fear not, I only ask your name to list as a tenant. You needn't bother yourself with the cleaning, and I don't expect you to stay cooped up in there neither. I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a waypoint on your travels. Sound appealing? Then come on by and have a look-see. I've taken the liberty of marking the location on your map. Have you found any gold ore yet? yet? That's all right. These writings could be of import. Shall we take a closer look? Well met, sir. Good evening, sir. I trust you. You fared all right on the roads, Disp much obliged. Look as long as you We have all we need to deliver. Greetings. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. May the You've my gratitude. If the way forward is shrouded to you, it is lovely to see you. Would you mind coming over here? Boy, you risen. Have you found any gold ore yet? Wow! Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be- Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church? Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can. I want to help them. 
but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring... Oh, I'll talk to the priests in the... Hoi, Arisen! Have you brought any medicine with you? Now that's just splendid! Oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. It's a goodly deed we've done, aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums. Tis as you say. You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So, what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? As I've said, you needn't worry about tending to the place. Many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by again in a week's time, but till then, farewell. We will find much better rest in an abode than out in the elements, methinks. Let us make good use of it while we can. It is as you say. To work if I'm to put bread on the date seven years. We're to see this letter to Selenet in Melv. Shall we board the ox cart as directed, Master? I believe I can guide you to the person in question. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. I've got to focus. I'm not sure I can it. handle this. I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. Oxcarts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. Mm. This oxcart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. This ladder can take us to new heights. We ought to put it to good use. If you're in need of a ride, it is now or now. Surely I'm overdue. 
My body's not forgiving me for last sight. night's scuffle. I am honored to be called to your side, Arisen. Here at the inn, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you... Need something? Always a pleasure. Thank you. Me? Is there aught I can do for you? I We've quite the combination of vocations in our party. What did he say his name was? The lad's in Vermouth now. He's eager. Apology. Apologies, but I can't offer you... I've a selection of where... There's that should... Hope to see you again. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. Oh, quite under mind waking. Oi, bring me a. Can't talk. Hell, if you've a moment to spare, I'd like a word. As you can see, we're rebuilding. A task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of saurians has made their nest outside the... I'd like to... I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the saurians scattering. A saurian nest so near the village is worrying indeed. Let us see the explosive casks there as quickly as we may. That's just what I was thinking. Looking for work? What brings you here? Here to ask all of me, I... You a traveller? I used to be a cell sword, see? Now shallow waters are you're wasting
Fancy a look at my wares? Do come again. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. What I can do for you? Well met. Looking to make a purchase? Much obliged, sir. I, what can I do for you? Ah, a letter from Lady Margaret, you say? It is a fair way you've come, then. My thanks. She's a kindly sort, I must say. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. Shall we report our results? That Lady Margaret's a kindly sort. Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling, at least. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison into that. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot and steer clear of the village boundary in future. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. The villagers use that water on a daily basis. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Now we are to throw a jar of poison. Be sure to handle it with care, Master. Tis rather peaceful here, isn't it? Ooh, I cannot help but ache for a scrap. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? You and I must say you've a fine arm. I couldn't have done better myself. Watching you got me thinking. And mayhap you've the sense to inherit the skills I possess. <laughs> or perhaps it's a little early for such talk. In any event. Thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace. And for that, I'm grateful. It is done. Outstanding. We have achieved our objective. 
It is vital that we rest and regain our strength before moving on. Apologies, but I can't. Might we consider boarding an ox cart? I don't know about you, but my legs are stiff as balls. A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, the Arisen shall have the final say in the matter. Follow me. We've earned ourselves a pat on the back. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. <sighs> Follow me, if you would. Or fit to camp. Surely a rest can wait to offer the jungle. A flawless execution. I just think what we could achieve if we honed our talents further. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle... I've got a good feeling about this one. And here I was, hoping for some great treasure. Now I feel a fool. We cannot, I grant you, roaring flames. Have my protection!
Might there be aught over there? We ought to take a closer look. Go again. If we must, let us finish this quickly. This should be of use. Let my magic draw to an elemental being.
weren't expecting mercy. As we've seen our foe, we must be our feet. We must not give them a chance to recover. Marshal, lead the charge! was a battle most fierce, against a formidable foe. Of course, the fight would have been lost without you. We're risen. I see a ladder yonder. We can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. Harpies, master! I shan't let them harm you. One of our number is unconscious. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old worker. No harm in picking a few. I've got it pinned! We'll have a hard time squeezing its belt fluid in us now! That was superb, Arita! The day grows darker with our every step. Where we do not fall. I grant you roaring flame. I've got wares of every ill. Pleasure doing business with you.
Caution is called for when crossing any bridge, regardless of its method. There's no worse place to be ambushed than the middle of a bridge. Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Hard to reach a myriad of That strategy never would have occurred to me. Unbelievable. Let my magic draw to you in an immense when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. You would have us press on without delay? By your will arisen. You'd think they'd have learned from that last lot that we're not to be trifled with. If battle cannot be avoided, tis fight or die. Fear not, it is well in hand. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Last, 
It's the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. I grant you fire's blades.
ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? The undead walk! It's lovely to see you. Might we speak a moment? I have a favour to beg. Thank you, sir. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. There's no reason to rush into our bedrolls. Pray slow your feet! You run too fast for the likes of me! Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Hang in there, Master. I'm coming to assist. This is a powerful weapon. A single bolt loose from it would carry tremendous lethal force. It is not how we use this, but when that counts. I imagine it would be most beneficial in combat. Master, would well, be prudent to rid yourself of any excess items. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. It's no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Visions of roast meat will dance in my head tonight, for all I've stuffed myself. Wait to find out what's inside. We are in Dormit. <laughs> You're going to regret that. <laughs> the 
letter has reached its recipient. Shall we inform Sir Donovan, Master? I believe I can guide you to the person in question. Thank God is yours. Let my magics grant you an elemental doom. I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. Perhaps the originals recalled some more pressing business. Fret not. I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. Well, I shall return. Did anyone else see that? Orc catches the light. We ought to take a closer look. you in my humble ways. Hope to see you again. Nothing caught your eye? That's a shame. Let's hope there's aught worth our coin next time. 
The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of form. Tell is, Vermund was once a Beestrum kingdom. Mm, fascinating. Indeed. Though, tis not widely known among the common folk. This ox cart's bound for me. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. I wouldn't mind a chance to doze off as the hills roll. Is there no getting through this door? There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. reached our destination. Ah, you've returned. How did you fare on the journey to Melv? Splendid. You've been an immense help, I must say. The cart reached its destination safe and sound, and from the tell of it, you even rid the road of a few monsters. <laughs> you've certainly earned a reward, my friend. Ox carts seem a convenient choice for longer journeys. I see no harm in making use of them as needed, Master. Shall we seek out the young man from the other day? This ox cart's bound. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Thank you. 
There are worse than... My temporary master was a... A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? Getting proper rest is an important... Getting proper rest is an important. Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? As for me, I made the most of my week long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself over much. You see, I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to. Methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought, mayhap you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from me? I can't just give it to you, mind. I've my relocation costs to consider, but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. Well, friend, what say you? Much obliged, friend. Suppose I'd best be off. I've my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Farewell. Beg pardon, sir, but I'm on duty at present. Nought raises one's morale like new equipment. How fine a piece that is! I must admit, I'm rather envious. Material. Useful things, these. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time.
Then I shall remain by your side. to be called to your side, Arisen. Look out, Arisen! We're under attack!
We defeated a fearsome foe and lived to tell the tale. One cannot ask for more than that. Fortune favors us, it would seem. Oxcarts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. Here we go again. If we must, let us finish this quickly. Understood. to an elemental boon. Are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? I grant you fire's blade. There's no need to make camp here. We've energy enough to press on for a while yet. I understand the inclination. Another statue? Mayhap it will yield us all to you. Let us make our way over to it while it's in our sights.
nice armor you've got. Oh. Can't allow any further harm to come to him. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. Perchance you'd like to see it? We've got choppers! Take care. We know not what perils this place holds. Adventure awaits. Oh, my heart thrills with anticipation. A curative ought to do the trick. What's inside? You truly are formidable, Arisen.
Why don't we have a taste? Surely no harm in it. Our bellies will last a little longer. over there. We ought to take a closer look. Very well. I shall return. These faces have grown mightily familiar. As a result, we move as one. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. I say we give it a push and see what happens. Shall I assist? Never fear, for I am here. Understood. Useful ingredients to be got. Chocolate master! This bridge has seen better days. Let us hope we cross unchallenged. I'd not relish any battle fought at this height. You have my support. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. Naught like a feast to get you ready for bed.
I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. I am honored to be called to your side, Arisen. Now there's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. Have my protection! Take that. We might find a use for it. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. I'm 
sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Thank you, sir. Consider it my thanks for all you've done. You there. Are you looking to enter the village? You'd best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. You'd best go elsewhere. There's no business to be had here. Is a chest! Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. What brings you here? Or you, neither me. Well met, sir. Fancy look at my wares. Always a pleasure. Ah, you must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? You would know of our village? As you can see, tis a simple place. Tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? As you like, sir. Take this. It is something I found. I wanted you to have it. This is the inn. Of course. Nothing's free in this world.
Glad to be of service. What brings you here? Treasure chest. Oh, I can hardly wait to open it. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Ah, you. You would know of our village. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? You would know of our village. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? <laughs> As you like. Hey, you. I take it you're the outsider my lord mentioned. How'd he know to expect you? I couldn't tell you. Why not ask him yourself? You'll find him in the manor atop the on hill. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Greetings. I must say I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You find me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. Uh, if aught about our humble village seems strange to you, for it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require to begin with. Those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential. Of course, you are no exception. Which is to say, you have my approval. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see. And your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont, and you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops. I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village cook. Is there aught else you care to ask? Beg pardon? Why would you ask such a thing? A letter. Oh, you've made quite the discovery. Brass means imitating someone in thieves' cant. This letter means to say someone's taken on such a request. Naturally, I can say nothing as to the who or what of the arrangement. I'm sure you understand. Is there aught else you care to ask? I? 
Take care. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it, and do with it what you will. Congratulations, Arisen. Acquiring a maester's teaching is no mean feat. I could not be more thrilled for you. I shall strive to learn from your example, that I might reach new heights of my own. We've made it then. What's our first order of business, Arisen? Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality. We must rest. Though the sun is still up. There's a ladder here. After you, Arisen. Have any time for me today? I dare say we're overdue another talk. There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets, and I wanted to share it. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, it was a revelation, for it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, it fills me with courage. It is proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. It is something I obtained of my own will. Here is the last of the gold I owe you. Pray forgive me for making you wait for it. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. There's aught I would do. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll see each other. Though, I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. Till then, Take care, friend. That was quite a gift. I hope that procuring it was not a burden upon the lad. I quite agree.
Gamers. Assemble. <laughs>